In this video, we'll be covering the basics for IBC transfers of Gravity Bridge tokens to Osmosis. We'll cover IBC transfers of bridged assets such as USDC in a later video. There are various different approaches that can accomplish what we'd like to do, but for simplicity in this video, we'll cover three easy methods. Using Kepler in conjunction with Skynet Explorer, the Cosmos Station mobile wallet app, or the command line. Let's start with the first method using Kepler. After you've installed the Kepler wallet, pop on over to the Gravity Bridge Commonwealth Forum. This is where you'll find the latest governance proposals and can participate in the discussion. You'll also find a section for Gravity Bridge announcements. Now that we're here, let's connect your Kepler wallet, which will add the Gravity Bridge token if it isn't already added. To do so, click Login, Continue with Wallet, and select Kepler. You'll need to approve the request to add the Gravity Bridge chain. Select an address, approve the transaction, and you should now see Gravity Bridge listed in your wallet and your Gravity address. Note that if you have tokens in your wallet already, but Kepler is not yet displaying them, not to worry. This will be addressed in the future. You can see your balance using a block explorer. And on that note, let's pop over to Skynet Explorer and select Gravity Bridge. Here you'll click on the wallet button in the upper right and select accounts to connect your wallet to the block explorer. Select Kepler. Approve the request. Select the chain in this case Gravity Bridge, then give your profile a name. In this case, I named my profile Gravity Bridge IBC. Using this drop-down menu, you can already send tokens normally or via IBC right here. But let's select the Details option for a more aesthetically pleasing experience. You'll note on the right there's already a balance of 26 Gravitons in this wallet. Since we want to do an IBC transfer, let's click on that button. Select the tokens you'll be sending, in this case Gravitons, and enter the amount that you would like to send to an Osmosis address. Next we'll select the destination channel. In this case, the IBC channel for Gravity to Osmosis is channel 10. For reference, you can find a current list of available IBC channels to different chains in the Gravity Bridge GitHub Documents folder. Next, you'll add the Osmosis address of the recipient. Here I'm sending it to my own Osmosis address, so I'll just open up Kepler, select Osmosis, and copy the address. Lastly, be sure that the wallet type selected is Kepler. Deposit, confirm, and you're done. A brief moment later, you should find the gravity tokens that you've just sent listed under the osmosis assets in your wallet. So let's grab your smartphone and move on to the second method using the Cosmos Station mobile app. If you haven't done so already, before you continue, you'll need to either import your existing Gravity address or use the app to create a new wallet. We'll proceed assuming you've already done that. So now that we have the app open, in the upper right hand corner you'll see the Change Wallet button. Tap on that to see a list of wallets. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find the Gravity Bridge wallets. Tap on G Bridge to expand the menu and tap on the Gravity wallet that you'd like to use. Now we have a nice overview of this address, as well as some stats about the Gravity Bridge token. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the Tokens button. Since we're sending Gravitons, let's tap on Graviton to select it. Now you'll have the option to send or IBC send your Gravitons. Tap on the IBC Send button at the bottom. Carefully read the notice regarding IBC transfers, then tap Continue. Cosmos Station has pre-selected the options we're looking for today. We're sending gravity to an osmosis address, and the relayer channel to use, as mentioned earlier, is channel 10. 
If you tap either button, however, you can see what options are available. So in this case, we'll leave the settings as they were and tap next. Paste the osmosis address you're sending the tokens to, enter the amount you'd like to send, and tap next. You can set the gas rate depending on your preference, review the transaction, and finally tap confirm to send. And there you have it. The final method we'll cover today briefly is using the CLI. If you have the Gravity Bridge binary installed, you can visit the Gravity Bridge GitHub, and in the Docs folder you'll find a guide on CLI usage. If you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see the command and appropriate flags to send tokens via the CLI. It's easiest to copy and paste the command into a notepad and modify accordingly. And thus endeth the lesson on gravity to osmosis IBC transfers. These methods will carry over to many other tokens as well as they become available. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to visit gravitybridge.net. Or if you're feeling social or have questions, you're invited to join the Gravity Bridge Discord server. You'll find an invite link in the description.